So this is your BMW yeah, Mini this E. Is, this is a BMW Mini E. Uh, BMW's made 500 of these. There's about 200 in LA, 200 in New York, and 100 in uh, London and Berlin. This is part of their product development to get to their mega city car for BMW, which is going to come out uh, 2012 time frame is when it's expected. Um, the mega city model is that there are certain places in this world that have a population density of more than 10 million people within the two hour drive time and the 100 mile electric range car fits perfectly for that. Just to give you an example, I've been driving gas cars for 32 years, I've been driving this car for five months, and in that five months, 7,000 miles of driving, there has not been one trip that I couldn't make in this car, so it's been a zero compromise type situation for me. So basically, just this is a power electronics unit for the car. Um, so this is the charging apparatus and the uh, power electronics unit and the controller for the motor and everything sits in that box. The motor sits underneath this box. It's about the size of a small watermelon. Now, if we were looking at a gas car, you'd have an oil, you'd have brake fluid, you'd have transmission fluid, maybe gear differential, something like this. This car has exactly one thing that you need to do, which is the windshield wiper fluid. So, um, the, the, the brakes on a typical car, 20, 30,000 miles of brakes on this car is that we don't know, somewhere around 150 or 200,000 miles. Because the car, when you let off the gas pedal, it regenerates its energy, putting mileage back into the battery, and you're not using the brakes. So, you use the brakes, again, from a driver's perspective, now with 7,000 miles, 5% uh, or 10% of the normal car in terms of braking, uh, only when you come up to the stop sign. Tell you from a regular Mini is 117 horsepower, a Mini S is 177 horsepower, and the Mini E is 205 horsepower. So this is the, the highest performing of the Mini family of cars right now. It most likely the electric car most likely won't be a Mini in its final form. It'll be a BMW 1 Series car. Is what it's looking like right now. And just walking around, you'll see the license plate. It says Sun Gas. Um, so some of my friends have said it's not gas, and I tell my friends, well, it's not horsepower either. <laughs> but we still use those words. So it is solar powered, and if you know solar, then you don't need gas. The, the typical Mini is a, is a four-seater. In actuality, it's really a two plus two. The two rear seats are very small. Uh, this is just a product mule that they're using to develop their electric car, much like the Chevy Volt, which used the Chevy Malibu and the Chevy Cruises as product development platforms. So in the case of this car, where the small two rear seats were, they have been replaced with a battery pack, where the child is climbing on at this moment, which is okay. Uh, in the future cars, it'll be down the middle and in the floorboard, uh, just like the, the Leaf and the Chevy. Pardon me? Uh, the range on this car, uh, again, real-world driving, the longest I've gone is 135 miles, which was out through Ramona and Julian, you know, 45-mile-hour roads. Mixed city and freeway is 100 to 110. City is about 120, and when I drive up to L.A., it's about 85 or 90 miles, but I'm on the freeway going 80 miles an hour. Okay. So I'm not on the freeway going 55 or 60, I'm on the freeway going 80. Sorry, government officials, but we all do it. So. This car, uh, in 2010, you have the Nissan Leaf and the Chevy Volt coming out, and they're on the floor today. In 2011, uh, in all probability, you'll have the Ford coming out, you'll have the Volkswagen coming out, and you'll have the BMW coming out. So late 2011. Um, it, th this whole timing issue, you have two cars right here, Mini E and a Tesla. Uh, both of them are fairly expensive. The, the battery prices have been close to $1,000 a kilowatt, so you've got a 55 kilowatt battery pack next to me, which is $55,000. Uh, lately, we're down in the $600 to $500 range for battery packs, and the expectation is in another couple of years, we'll be down in the $400 to $300. So it's coming down quite quickly. Um, think about the first 42-inch plasma TV. It was $10,000, right? Now they're four or $500. So it's just a question of, manufacturing hundreds of thousands or hundreds of thousands and millions in terms of the cost. Um, so, so their strategy is to come out a little later in 2011, uh, battery prices a little lower, and deliver a car in the thirty to $35,000 price range. Thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome.
So that's the car. It's got a few little custom treatments in it in terms of uh, interior decorations and appliques, but basically it is a Mini Cooper, mule of a Mini Cooper. It has uh, one speed, basically. It's just zero to 100 miles an hour in the same gear. Uh, there is a park, reverse, neutral, and drive, uh, and that's it.